Hello my dear friends, in the last class, uh, in the last class I explained about the construction and how light is coming going back, how we introduced due to glass to compensate the glass path covered by the rays that we saw. And in this class we will study about the formation of fringes, how fringes are forming and at the last we will see circular fringes, how we are getting the circular fringes. So I have erased and I will make a rock figure here, your source, your light then your convex lens it is coming roughly i am making this one for my reference which will help me to make you understand to tell you okay this is your michael's interferometer interferometer that i uh, explained in the in the uh, last class so now this is your mirror m1 this is your mirror m2 m2 this is your ie this is g1 this is T2. So what's happening? See, source is there and the mirror is there. Suppose you are standing in front of the mirror. There is an inclined mirror. Suppose this is an inclined mirror. I am standing in front of the mirror. But my image will be formed towards this way. Not to the back. Towards this way. If I will observe, then I will get that. Now, if not this way, then I will get down or uh, I will get down towards the mirror. But not uh, as we stand in front of a plain mirror. That same thing. Suppose you, and one more thing, due to reflection, your M2, the image of the M2 is formed near here. I will name it at M2 dash. This is nothing but a virtual mirror which is the image of M2 due to reflection at G. So I can draw it as, this is my M1 which is a real mirror and uh, this is my M2 dash, which is a virtual mirror. This is M1, this is M2 dash. Okay? And my source is here. This is my source. So, light is going from the source towards the seat carefully students. Light is going from the source towards the mirror. It may be virtual, it may be real. In case of optics, we have to consider whatever we are getting. That may be anything. That may be virtual, that may be real. So, light came this way. Okay, now light will reflect. It reflected. So, this part, one more part will continue. This part also reflecting. And here we have eyepiece. Means we are watching here this part you understood this is something little bit different difficult also try to get it your m1 was there m2 there this is inclined that's why the source will be formed towards this that is your source I mean this is your s and the i eyepiece is as usual your m2 will form beside the m1 due to reflection by the inclined mirror so that is your virtual, this is your virtual mirror and this is the image of a M2. If M2 is the object, M2 dash is the mirror. Like that M1 is your real mirror. Okay. Now forget everything. Now just see, we have two mirror. We have one object. I am here, I am facing two mirror. So I will have also image that side means for first mirror I will have one object for second mirror sorry for first mirror I will have one image for second mirror I will have another image that same thing for this one I will extend this first okay let me draw first I am extending these two lines Simply I am extending these lines because I am observing here the light is coming from this way but what I will see I will see that as if the light is coming from this way because that is the principle of the optics the source is here from here only I am getting the light but I will observe that the light is coming from this way I will make one mirror here this mirror is the image of mirror M2 dash this is, I will say, S2 
and uh, one more mirror I will share. This is a this one. So this is the difference. S one. I hope you are following me. Whatever I'm telling, this part was different. One mirror, two mirror, object. For this mirror, object, there will be one image. Mirror, object, image. Mirror, object, image. Means this is your object. Why this object is standing in front of this mirror? The image is formed at S2. While this object is standing in front of mirror M1, the image is forming in front of S1, on S1, at S1. Let's say, I will say, uh, the distance between M1 and M2 dash is E. I will assume that. For my calculation, I am erasing this part. I will do some mathematical now. This is the down part. That's why I am erasing. And I will consider the distance between M2 dash and source as X. So, this part will be your X plus 1, X plus E. Okay. Uh, and one more thing, suppose I have a plane mirror. I am standing 5 meter distance from the mirror. Means my image will be in towards 5 meter away from the mirror. Same object distance, same image distance. The same thing. The image is there, object is there, which is forming at a distance of X. Like that, the, Im the mirror is there and this image is forming here. So this distance will be also x. Try to follow students. For this mirror, the object distance is x plus e. So the image distance will be also x plus e. This is image distance. This is a mirror. So this is also x plus e. Okay. Now, my ambition is to calculate what is the difference between these two source, these two image formed. Means these two images. How much is this one? I will drop one perpendicular here. Okay. I dropped one perpendicular on this one. This is straight line. So, one angle formed here. Let's say this is theta. So, my cos theta will be perpendicular by hypotenuse. Okay. Sorry, I have to calculate the distance between these two. Means I will calculate uh, what is the distance between these two. Means I will calculate how much is my S1, S2. How I calculate how much is S1, S2? S1, uh, M, S1, M I have. If I will subtract. One more time. Uh, I should write it. This is X plus E. Distance from M I need to follow one second students S1 M1 So this is your M1 If I will subtract For S1 S2 That means S1 M1 Will be sub I will subtract what is 2 means this much. Yes, right. I have to calculate this much. The distance between S1 and S2. So, what I will do? If, from, if I will subtract this much. Means the distance between S2 and M1 from S2, S1, M1. S1, M1 minus S2, M1. I think we are following properly. So, this is already given S1 M1 equal to X plus C minus how much is my S2 M1? My S2 M1 is S2 M2 dash minus M1 M2 dash. Okay, S2 M1, S2 M1. How much is this? If I subtract S2 M2 dash. I, I need this much. How I will get from this, I will subtract this much. So this much will leave. Are you getting? I need this much. So I have total here to here. If I subtract this much, this much will leave. So that thing I wrote here. So I will derive now. It's plus C. 
S2 M2 dash how much? S2 M2 dash is your X minus M1 M2 dash is your E. So minus 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 plus your X is get cancelled. So what left? 2E. That means this distance is your 2E. The images are having at a distance of 2E. I had taken this is cos theta. This is cos theta is perpendicular hypotenuse. What is perpendicular? Okay, one more thing. I will say what is the perpendicular. Why I dropped this perpendicular? Here, uh, I am observing this one by the eyepiece. What I am observing? I am observing that the light are coming from this. Means whatever light I am observing here, I will assume that is uh, seems as the light is coming from S1 and S2. S2. But actually light is coming from here. I have extended this one. Not I have ex extended. I have to extend. So I will say the fringes will form here. How the fringes will form here? This is one ray. This is another ray. These two ray will undergo interference that may be constructive, that may be destructive. At this region, so I will get interference here. But before telling about the interference, I have to see whether this is constructive or destructive, which I will get from the path difference. So the path, see the path difference is this one. Why? I have already told you in several cases. If I have calculated this much, because from here, the both are same. Both are just a straight line. This path only somehow different. So this much is your cos theta equal to delta by 2e. So your path difference between two rays will be 2e cos theta. So now easily I can say whenever I will have 2e cos theta equal to n lambda, then obviously I will get maxima means constructive interference. When 2e cos theta will be 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 I will get minima means destructive interference and uh, this is how I, we are getting formation of fringes this is the reason uh, how fringes are formed this is very important I think you followed one more time I am telling I considered one source la one source here two images are here I am sitting here I am observing as, as if lights are forming this from um, lights are coming from S1 and S2 because I have to extend this source. This light is coming, this is uh, reflecting. But I have to extend this one, then only I can see that light is coming from this region. But this is the image of this object, means S. S is the object image, is S1, S2, which is formed by two mirror M1 and M2 gas. And little bit derivation I did to get the difference between S1 and S2 by, uh, by subtracting something. Uh, you have followed, I think you, I, I will uh, trust that you have followed that. After that, I calculated the path different, that is the delta, which is this much, then maximum minima. So, uh, now we will see, uh, we will see how circular fringes are formed. Uh, before going to circular fringes, I would like to say one thing that these two lights are coming. Okay, these two light are coming toward eyepiece. So, these two light will be undergo interference. So, in mirror M2 dash, we will get our interference region. So, let's see how we will, just remember students, on M2 dash, we will get interference. Now, we will draw the circle for circular fringes. How we are getting the circular fringes? As I had taken mirror M1 and M2, the same thing I will take once again. This is your mirror. Behind that, yeah, one more mirror was there. Suppose this is my M2 dash. This M2 dash is the object of the M2. I will cross check. This is the origin, this is 2D, I will consider as 2D. I will take one point here. And I will make a radius through this point. And I will join it. Now, my IPC is here, means E is here. I will connect this one. And uh, I will keep it at a distance E. Suppose this is uh, point S, having coordinate XY. 
how i took the coordinate because i have to prove this is as a circle the formula of circle you know students x square plus y square equal to r square that's why i consider this x y now let's prove how we will get so in the os uh, i will draw one perpendicular here how i'm drawing one perpendicular i have to calculate os let's say this is on in this triangle triangle osn your os square equal to on square plus n s square this is your x this is your y so it will be x square plus y square that means your os is x square plus y square now let's come to this triangle in this triangle this is right angle right angle triangle you can imagine suppose this is suppose this is the mirror and i am observing here here the eyepiece that means this is your angle it's going like that and coming back going like coming back okay now in this triangle your ac square will be os square plus oe square so s e square will be how much o s square x square plus y square and how much o e your p square so s e will be x square plus y square plus p square square root s square plus y square and square root okay now what we will do i will consider this angle as theta this angle as theta so cos theta will be this base by hypotenuse hypotenuse is your a square p square so cos square theta will be x square plus y square plus p square simple call cross multiplication before going and uh, i had derived one more thing your path difference was 2e cos theta you can see previous page i had done so your cos theta will be delta by 2e that means delta square by 4e square how much p square by x square plus y square plus p square so cross multiplication Four e square p square. After clock cross multiplication, I got this much. Now what I will do? I will keep my x y term here, and I will took p square. This that said, and I will take p square as common. So what I am getting? Four e square minus delta square. So. this delta square i will take down that side so whatever left one second students my x square plus y square is now four e square by delta square minus 1 whole into p square i have to make it in the form of r square how i will write if i will write like that square root into p whole square so this is nothing but something square means this is i r so the radius of the form circular fringes are r equal to 4 e square by delta square minus 1 into p this is the radius of the formed circular fringes and uh, suppose this is my bright fringe bright fringe means you will have delta equal to n lambda so in the case of delta i can put as n lambda that is your n square lambda square minus 1 so in case of for dark fringes what i will put
your pyramid as usual 4 is square whole divided by here what was uh, i heard delta square so it will be 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 whole square minus 1 so these two expression is for your dark and for bright fringes following these two accordingly you can measure at what radius you are getting your dark fringes at what radius you are getting your bright fringes so one some conclu conclusion we are getting so i will write here my first conclusion is that whenever um, the distance between the mirror uh, rough figure i also used i am doing here once again your source your mirror light was coming like that reflecting here and one more mirror was there here we are observing and here we are getting the image of this mirror m2 so this distance i also calculated as e if this distance is decreasing the radius is also decreasing as e is on the above so if this distance is increasing radius will increase also now see on n if n is what is happening its order is also increasing then your radius is decreasing and vice versa these are two examples of how we are getting circular fringes in case of our Michelson interferometer and the radius one more thing friends i would like to say you that i draw one figure like that this is one this is another image here we had eyepiece the light source was coming from here and reflecting back like the same thing and if I will I was doing like that okay now see this is my mirror M1 this is the image of the mirror M2 that is M2 dash these two are parallel that means they are behaving just like two thin parallel film try to understand whatever I am telling I want to tell you students that when M1 and M2 dash I have adjusted Previously I had considered my mirror here and here These two I have to adjust in such a way As this image will image means this one is real this one is virtual This virtual will set up itself in such a way the both will set as parallel to each other So that it will behave as thin parallel film And the light is going in parallel manner Suppose now I will adjust the screw. In the past setup, I had uh, make you understand how I will adjust the screw. According to the screw, it can move horizontally, it can move vertically. So I can tilt it also, means I can make some angle. In the western film, we had done like that. That means by adjusting the two mirror, I can make it as a western film also. So how interesting is it? means by two things only I can get my thin parallel film I can get my wasted film also like that I can get circular fringes I can get rectangular fringes straight fringes so any type of fringes I can get so now we will have a look on the localized fringe what is called as localized fringe what is the meaning of the localized fringe localized fringe in case of the Michelson model experiment, first we consider mirror. I am not drawing uh, completely, just mentioning these two are parallel. That's why light were going in parallel manner. Suppose these two will come something like that. Means somehow like we say film found in the Michelson interferometer. So my I will get. I won't get such type of a parallel line instead these two line will intersect at a region and I will get my fringes on M1 this is called as my localized fringes at the local region on the real image in the real mirror because this is our virtual this is only our real when I will get I have to adjust the knob in such a way as both the mirror mirror m1 and image of the mirror m2 that is m2 dash will align at an angle to each other and the curved surface of the fringes form will be towards the uh, junction means suppose uh, this is junction the curve will be like that so suppose this is your mirror i cross these two mirrors they are two set up actually 
this is mirror M1, this is mirror M2 dash. I will get such type of hinges. If my mirror will be set like this, this is M1, this is M2 dash, this is your junction. So I told your fringe will be, curve of the fringe will be towards the junction. Same thing, if it will be like this, means this is my M1, this is my M2 dash. So my fringe will be in this manner. I think students you understood what is your Michelson interferometer, what is the setup, arrangement, construction, how light is behaving there, how we calculate the path difference, then localized fringe and this is little bit uh, extra uh, concept you should have. If you have any doubt contact me immediately. This is very important thing. Thank you so much.